Last week, we brought you a story about the rise and fall of the St. Mary's Strip. Tonight, we hear from a band member and an officer who saw it happen firsthand. Some believe crime turned people away from the iconic strip. But as the night team Stephanie Cerner reports, it looks like things are rising up again for St. Mary's. About 20 years ago on the iconic St. Mary's Strip, lead singer of Anger Kill, David Diaz de Leon, met his wife, Jen, there. That was our first date at uh, Wacky's Cantina. David and Jen, who is the bassist of Anger Kill, say they have many great memories on St. Mary's. Over the years, you know, uh, the White Rabbit was basically our, our home away from home. Um, for a lot of those years, once we started with our, our band Anger Kill. But like many band members and patrons, David and his wife were victims of crime on the popular strip. Our car was broken into um, one time. We had parked down the ways a bit. It was, it was a big concert. So the window was broken, stole the car stereo. Former SAPD officer, now police instructor Gary Mound says most of the crime on St. Mary's during its heyday were quality of life issues like parking and loud music. A lot had to do with alcohol as far as drugs. But to Gary, it was the mid-90s when things started to change. In my opinion, what led up to that was uh, they had a murder back then. It scared a lot of people away from St. Mary's. Some neighbors who didn't want to appear on camera tell us there is still crime here. In fact, there are about 123 phone calls to police from this area since February of last year. However, we talked to one neighbor who says he doesn't mind the crowds. In fact, he supports a St. Mary's comeback. You can get cars from either like up to like around here, like this area, or like way further down even there. You just kind of got to plan on like what time it's going to get busy. You kind of get used to it after a while. I've always thought that it has a good vibe, even now, even over the years, it's just kind of been up and down. Um, it's legendary, and there's nothing I would have wanted more than for it to exist similar to like Sixth Street in Austin. Stephanie Serna, KSAT 12 News.